Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And we are in Elkhart, Indiana this week. So we don't have anything crazy planned. This video is pretty much going to be some upgrades with the number one thing being in here. So we'll tell you about that in a minute. But we are actually at Grand Designs Campground. Yes, they have one in front of their service center. So you can only stay here when you're getting service done, but it's super convenient to have the hookups. We did actually get some service done on our rig last week. So we just took advantage of the campground before we head out. This campground's actually a little bit nicer than some of the RV parks we've stayed in. I think there's what, about 10 spots here? Yeah. Yeah, so it's an, it's a convenient little thing to have if you're getting some service work done here in Elkhart on your RV to just have a campground that you can pull into and then they can get started on your rig if you have a service appointment the next morning. Other than that, uh, we're excited to dive into this week's video. <laughs> So we've planned quite a few different projects and upgrades and like Ray said, we're taking advantage of this nice quiet environment <laughs> to finally implement them. So the first one that we're going to work on is to be able to see back into our area behind our water panel and where our pump is just to make mm -hmm. sure that we don't have to open up the panel every single time and we can just look right in there. So. Let's get started. I think first thing we have to do is empty out that compartment. That is the first thing we have to do. <laughs> All right, so that was quick and easy. So now we're going to show you what our actual plan is to be able to see through into the back here. And we're gonna show you the products that we bought to get this done. All right, so our plan is to take this piece of plywood with carpet on it and kind of cut out a frame to put clear plexiglass on. And we're gonna try to fold the carpet over the, the cut to make it look nice and clean. We bought some Loctite spray adhesive for the carpet and then we would also like to hinge it. So we bought some, some hinges and a gate door latch to, to latch it. Uh, and then we got some wood screws. Yes. So that's our plan. You guys know that we don't actually know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, so this is best effort. And I guess we'll see together if it works out. I, I think it's important to note that we're using the existing piece of wood that's in there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All well, right. Let's get it out. <laughs> let's go. All right. Sprad's added this nifty little uh, door here for just this little section so we can look back in and see our Battleborn batteries. Um, which was awesome, and so that's where we got the idea to hinge the door. So, but they had one screw, which was kind of locking it in here, so. Yeah, that was just the old screw that was yeah, there. Yeah, the old screw. So I took that off. Now, there's three screws here holding it onto this other piece of wood. Alright, so we got the piece of wood out. This is the one we're going to be using as our frame for the plexiglass. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want the the carpet to wrap over like this. Yeah. So I guess our first step is measure. Yep. Measure once and then we'll measure twice. <laughs> and uh, then go from there. Our lines marked on here as to where we want to cut so since we do want to preserve some of the like carpet on the other side because when the holes cut we want to fold that over to protect the edges um, we're just gonna drill a hole in the middle so we can start peeling back the carpet and start cutting the outline of our hole Thank you. 
right, that first cut was just for show and so Ray could film. Um, she's better at cutting straight lines than me, so she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna take the helm. All right, great job. Thanks. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> it makes the noise. You don't have to make it for it. I didn't want to push the safety off. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. How was that? It was good. Cool. So we have just one last thing to make this fall out. Uh, our, our saw couldn't get in the corner here because of this piece of wood. So uh, we have a hand saw. Yep. Get to no. get in those little corners. No, I think uh, we have a Dremel, so I'm gonna pull that out and that's gonna <laughs> oh. be a little bit easier. All right. Sounds good too. <laughs> Got it. Good job. Boom. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I like it because um, since we don't know what, we do, what we're doing, <laughs> It's nice when something's kind of how you picture, how you think you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. We got our frame. <laughs> now let's clean up this carpet. All right. What are you doing? Okay, so this is spray adhesive and we just tried it on one end and it is sturdy. So there's no messing up. But basically you spray both surfaces it's not like a spray, it actually kind of comes out in a line and then you let it dry for one minute and then you attach the two surfaces and then you're never getting it off again. So that's what I'm doing. All right. All right, so we've moved on to the plexiglass. I did not do it, muscle man over here. So we knew we had to be very delicate with our plexiglass, so we decided, okay, we're gonna hand screw it in and we're gonna pre-drill the holes in the plexiglass. And that's exactly what we did. Everything mm -hmm. was looking great. Jason goes start screwing it in. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> He just screwed it to the screw in too far, which then cracked the plexiglass. But this was a test corner, so we're kind of expecting that to happen because it's us. So yeah, it's I'm just okay. surprised it happened at the very end. I thought it was going to happen as soon as I started to drill the hole through it. Oh, that's we made true. it past all of that stuff. Yeah. So then we did another tester over here, same method, except I screwed it in because I'm like weak sauce, and I stopped like well, not well before, but you know, before the screw puts any pressure on the plexiglass. So basically the technique we're doing here is pre-drilling the holes in the plexiglass and then hand screwing the screws in and just making sure that the screws are in far enough just to apply enough pressure to hold the glass on, but not actually, um, you know, crack it. So we'll see. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. Also, we call it plexiglass because that's what we, um, in our brains, think it is. It's called like clear, clear acrylic or something like that. So uh. I have no idea the difference is. I just know it's plastic. <laughs> So there it is. That looks cool, right? 
right? Got the hinges on. Yeah, and a lot of people may not want to see this stuff, and we understand that, but we do because anytime we've ever thought we had an issue, like sometimes one time we put a wet uh, outdoor mat in here, and then when it was raining and we didn't think about it, we got to our destination and the entire floor was wet. And we thought we had a leak. We thought we had a major leak. We took everything out and we couldn't find anything and then we realized it was our mat so like just that pain in the butt taking everything out in the rain and trying to have it all covered up and safe and just to look in here yeah this is way worth it plus yeah we can immediately see if we have issues yes we do like to pe peek back here a lot to just to check in on things check in the water heater check on the water pump check on all the connections just make sure things are looking good so for us this is perfect but again as jason said we totally get it if this like seeing this is not your jam and you don't want to see it every time you open your storage. Moving on, we got the hinges on, we got the door on, um, and then we realized, so this is the door that Battleborn, or that Sprad's RV when they installed our Battleborn batteries put on. So that's where we, uh, Jason said, I think got the hinge idea. But, so we opened their door. <laughs> and we can't get our door past it now that we've put it on hinges. We didn't think of that before because I guess we it's normally just, screwed yeah. in so we just unscrew it and move it. We never thought about what the movement for hinging would be. So we're actually going to take off the smaller door and just cut it so that way we can open both and then after we cut it, we can install the lock that we, or the latch that we bought. So, almost perfect. All right, so I think we got it uh, down to size. We just tested it out. It looks like it will fit now. So all we have to do is cut the carpet and glue it, which is Ray's favorite part. And we'll put it back in there and install the lock. <laughs> Bless you. We're done. Wow. Wow, nothing broke. I mean, the plastic. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but like. Overall. Detrimentally. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Done. Okay. See inside. Well, almost done. What are the three things we're gonna do? Okay. All right, so we got uh, <laughs> a lessons learned uh -huh. and a couple upgrades we're going to do. So lessons learned, I think we would find a different way to adhere the plastic or the, the acrylic to the wood. So we were thinking like old school mirrors have those like little things that like hold the mirrors up. <laughs> or there could be a better way, I have no idea. So I think we would do that if we were doing it again. I think we wanna buy a doorstop, one of those like doorstops that's like a half <laughs> dome thing that yeah. to screw in the back so to make sure the wood doesn't go back too far. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanna get a second hinge lock thing. For the lock bottom. Mm -hmm. For the bottom, so it's secure at the top and the bottom. But, and a light for back there. So I wanna put like an LED strip with a, a switch. So that way we can see everything clearly back there without getting a flashlight. We'll do that stuff another day. Yeah. But we do have a couple more projects we wanted to get done today. <laughs> so they are easy. I don't know why we started with the really hard one. Um, but so we didn't lose daylight. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> These ones, I say they're easy, but you know. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on? All right, so first one is our outside Accurite weather monitor thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to find a better place to put it. We had it on the propane supply line cabinet area. Yep. Uh, I don't know, do you like that or? I don't care, this cool. is all you. <laughs> all right, so we have two choices. 
Okay. I'll let you make the decision. Oh, okay. So we can put it back in here. Uh-huh. Right, cool. I can fix it right here. Yeah. Um, but I felt like this was a really protected cabinet, so sometimes it didn't get the temperatures. Yeah, I agree. So the other one would be to affix it in here? Up here. Yeah, but do you think that would get an accurate reading either? It's more exposed, but I guess uh, not, so. It's still, it's like covered by all that metal. Yeah, so I guess the decision, what would you decide if you had to do it right now? Well, I'm lazy, so I do it in the propane thing again. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I got this little clip, spring link, whatever you call that, and I got this quick link. It's the kind of you like screw on. And I got these because uh, I was reading somewhere and they said don't put the brake cable onto your hitch, and we do that every single time because if the hitch fails and takes out yeah. of the truck, your trailer's not gonna stop because the brake cable's not gonna pull because it's affixed to the hitch. I have read that. <laughs> I thought I would buy these to see which one I like or use them both to get it so we can hook our brake cable up to our truck because we have the little metal circle mm -hmm. in the bed of our truck. Okay, cool. So let's go attach these to the brake cable. <laughs> what a mod. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that barely, barely fits on there. So it'd be a pain to get it on and off there every week. So my recommendation to you is to get a bigger spring link than whatever size this is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here and I still think that if we wanted, we could leave that on here all the time. Yeah. Why does I mean, it have to be connected to the brake cable? It doesn't, but then that just gives you something easy to like clip on to like get the brake cable out of the way when it's stored as well. So this way works. It's just not what I had in mind. Okay. But well, it, it definitely works. And so we will be using this. Yeah. In the meantime. Yeah, in the meantime. Okay. So let's go on to our next project. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Our final outdoor project is a outdoor motion activated security light. Uh, we had one before, we put it underneath our steps because it makes it really easy to see our steps walking up and it's a pretty good like 15 foot distance. So for us like getting in late at night, if we forgot to turn on our top light, like our porch light. Which we do all the time. Which we do all the time. It's just really helpful to see the steps. So we have the, the big, yeah. Lippard solid steps. So what happened to our other one? So Ray forgot to grab <laughs> it last time. Oh, okay. Um, because we were just testing it out. We didn't want to fix it anywhere. Um, so she forgot to grab it and we left it in a campground or on the road somewhere. I think it fell off. I think it fell off as well. <laughs> so uh, this one, we're going to just go ahead and affix it. It can do screws or uh, it has 3M tape. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably we, do 3M. Yeah, we like 3M tape. Yeah, so if we don't use this one, I have other VHB 3M tape that won't move at all. Cool. Yep. Huh? I said, what's next? All right. So this is something that uh, Dustin, who is the guy who runs the Momentum Owners page on Facebook. Uh, so this is a, a tip that, that he was telling us about for better AC performance. By the way, if you don't use the owners groups on Facebook, it is a 
great place for information. We're members of the Solitude Owners Group. They have a larger Grand Design Group, and there's a whole bunch of miscellaneous RV stuffs, but since we have a Grand Design and a Solitude, we absolutely love seeing all the other tips and tricks that people put on there. So um, so this is just one of those little tips and tricks that, that we've learned from there. This one was specifically from Dustin of the Momentum Owners page. Yes, um, but he told this tip in person. In in because we're not on the momentum stage. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so it's take a, a little door stop, like mm -hmm. I was talking about earlier, and put it in your AC duct. Yes. So that little bit <laughs> kind of tries to force more of the air through instead of continuing down the racetrack. Yes. So it redirects it down. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, right? but not all not all the air. No. Just, just redirects a little bit more. So we're gonna start out, um, I've already resealed all of the edges with tape to make sure that the duct was connected to the opening for a little bit of like AC. Like a couple months ago. A couple months ago. Yeah. So now let's see if these do it. And we're gonna start with just these ones here in the kitchen. It's not perfectly center. It's okay. Just letting you know. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, because this is the furthest from both of the ACs. We don't really have a problem with the living room no. or the bedroom because we just opened up the dump valves and it cooled it down. But this area could get a little warm. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't 100% convinced <laughs> that this would work. I understood, like, the physics of it. It made sense. But we just put one... Oh, in this one, we didn't put one in this one. And when you stand on the ladder and hold your hands in front of both of them, there is definitely a difference, right? Oh, oh no. no, what happened? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And of course, one with it, one without, and you can feel it. Like I can actually feel the air on me now. We're from there, from that, from yeah. the one that we put it in and not like, yeah. I don't, yeah, it's crazy. I so yeah. so it works. Facebook owners groups. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Our final project for the day. This we bought to store Carmen's food, mm -hmm. which is currently located in this cabinet. Um, yeah, we don't like it in that bag. No. Anymore. And I want to use that cabinet. So we bought this, and. Carmen, what's the problem? It doesn't fit. Yeah. So we need about another inch. Uh, all the other containers that we we're looking at for as much food as we want to carry for her are about the same size. So instead of doing anything else, we're just going to raise that bottom cabinet. Because that's Carmen's cabinet anyway. Or like her shelf. shelf. Yeah, it's her and shelf. And there's nothing in there that needs to be. Nope, we got room. So, so we're going to raise it. Uh, First, let's take everything out of there. Now we got that extra little space. Yeah. Oh yeah, it fits perfectly Perfect. now. Yep. And I wanted to show you guys the kit actually came with another box. So I'm actually transferring over and going through her old box that just has like a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, and then transferring that to the new box. Because this one was broken, I was holding it down with tape.
What do you think of your new shelf? You like it? All organized. Oh. <laughs> Good girl. All right, so that worked out well too. We did it. <laughs> we did it. So very excited that we were able to get them done. No major hiccups, that's not normal for us. I know, uh, no run back <clears throat> to the store. Yeah, I did not want to have to run to, to Lowe's again. <laughs> And we didn't. I guess that's it from us. So I wanted to ask if you have uh, any suggestions for our upgrades or if for future upgrades, mm -hmm. like let's help each other out. Let us know <laughs> what was your favorite upgrade you've done to your RV or that you've seen done because yes. I absolutely love modifying our RV for convenience and everything else. Yes, I feel like this is the year that we're really like getting our crap in order. Like our first year and a half of RVing was really just a bunch of mistakes and we still make plenty of mistakes. Like that's kind of just our MO, but I feel like we're taking it a lot more seriously. We're really like considering these mods and upgrades and like not scared to do them. So that's a great idea. Leave those suggestions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. I want to cut. You want to cut? Yeah, but I just needed some. You need a, a guinea pig. Transition. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rude. Leave her alone, please. I have to waste a minute somehow. Oh, what are you doing? Get back to our project. This carpet's coming off too. <laughs> it doesn't want to go in straight. It's not me. Oh, it's not you? It's the screw. Okay. You don't like that one either. Do you want to do the rest? No, no, you no. You do the rest. How's that one? That was my most level one. All right. It's getting better. Well, I would leave that. Here, give me that. Cool. I didn't use the kitchen knife to get that out. <laughs> Safety's first. Safety's first? It's just supposed to be safety first. <laughs> Safety's first in my book. Okay. Safety's first. Safety's first. <laughs> Careful, please. You're fine. <laughs> so close to my... <laughs> right, what happened to safety is first? You know what? I'm tired. <laughs> Can you take everything out of there? Farted. Oh, stinky joke. Oh, you did.